Okay, so the AK-104. You've probably heard this for the last four AKs. Um, but 7.62 times 39mm, or same as the 103. Uh, once again, it's a further modernized version of the AK-74M base model, uh, which we will see at some point in this series. Uh, more precisely, a shortened version of the AK-103. So, like the 101 and the 102, uh, both variants have their own short version. Um, so, a short compact version equipped with a side folding shoulder stock and a side mount for optical sights. And also 100 series acres are produced by the Izmash factories in the Izshvek in Russia. So the ammunition for this weapon system is exactly the same as the 103. Uh, 7.62s times 39mm round. And um, we selected the MIRI AP round, which is the best round for this weapon system, which has a 46 damage rate, uh, penetration power 58, and armor damage at 76, uh, putting us at 18 which is a really good round for this uh, weapon. Okay, so the weapon modifications for the 104. Uh, magazine, so really good selection of magazines there, really good. Fortunately, no underbarrel grenade launcher, that's because of this short barrel weapon system. Handguard, we've got a large selection, which is really nice, very similar to the 102. Uh, muzzle brakes and uh, suppressors, which is great. It also has obviously the foregrip and the laser attachments, obviously because of the handguard, so that gives us another point there. Uh, some good top rails, which will also allow us to have the ability to have multiple sights in the weapon system. Fantastic. Uh, that is a crazy looking sight, whatever, or mount adapter that is, it's pretty cool. Once again, buffer tubes, so we can put on multiple stocks, which is fantastic to see, allows us that options. And obviously the grip there. And finally, it's only a single fire and full auto. Um, so that is a solid eight points, once again. Um, sitting a little bit further behind than the 10, not a little bit further behind, one point behind the 103, with the uh, ability to have the under barrel grenade launcher option. Um, but a good, solid across the board, eight points, which I think is going to be the standard points uh, on most weapon systems. So eight points. Okay, the effective distance of this weapon system is uh, 650 meters, which is the same as its predecessors, which is the uh, 103, 102, and 101. Uh, which is pretty good range, uh, it's decent, which is sitting us at 8 points, uh, the same as our weapon system, so that's good. Okay, the standard ergonomics and recoil for this weapon system, we're sitting at 54 for the ergo, uh, vertical is 101, uh, 111 sorry, and the horizontal is 287 which is pretty damn poor for this weapon system, 104 is going to get 10 points um, one of the lowest scores we've got yet for uh, the standard out-of-the-box ergonomics from Recoil. Uh, so 10 points for this. Okay, so this weapon fully kitted out. Uh, we're looking at 86.5 ergonomics, which is really good. I think it's one of the highest ergonomics we've got in the weapon system so far. Uh, the Recoil for vertical is 89 and the horizontal is 229, which still isn't really great it's still quite high numbers in terms of recoil um really high actually which is a little bit unfortunate because that ergonomics is pretty strong a pretty strong number for the ergonomics um so unfortunately that puts his weapon system at a kitted or modified ergonomics um, recoil at 19 points which is the lowest yet so far actually a one point below the uh 103 and six points off the highest which is the 101 so 19 points Okay, so the cost of the weapon system. So let's have a look at, see how much this weapon system costs right now. Um, so we're looking at 27,000 for the weapon alone, just standard out of box. So that is a good, good score there of 10 points. It's below 30,000 rubles, which is fantastic price. Extremely affordable. And to kit the weapon out to the to, to specs it is right now, the modifications, uh, we're looking at 431,000, which is really good. So looking at a solid seven points there. Um, I think that's probably lower than the AK-12 fully kitted at the moment. Uh, that's the highest points we've got on the board so far, which is really good. Okay, the range test. Let's have a look at this weapon system. Looks quite nice, quite compact. Uh, looks pretty well put together as well. Um, let's have a look. So I'll snap this up to the shoulder. It's quite quick. Smooth as well. too much maybe like it though it's good i'm gonna give that two points there it's quick it was swift 
Okay, so now we're gonna do a six group, six round group and shot on the target. Let's see how that comes out. That was six shots, pretty good, pretty tight, quite nice. The recoil is not too bad as well. Actually, it feels pretty good. Um, even though it's quite a low, low score rating on the recoil, but it's not bad actually. It's quite easy to get out of that small grouping. I'm not trying too hard to do that. Um, so we'll give that two points for this grouping, and we'll give it two points for the snappiness. Right now we're sitting at four. Let's give it a burst of full auto, try and see how the grouping looks like this, and the, and the recoil as well. That's going to be the big question. I hope we go. Oh, that is brutal. Okay, that's not great. Not great. So we'll go for it again and try and... This time we won't control it, we'll just let it do its thing. Here we go. Extremely high. Now this next burst will try and control the shots. Oh yeah, it's, it sucks ass. Right, that ain't great. That's obviously improved from the standard, but it's still difficult. Um, I'm going to give that four points. Um, the small group in the six shots is good. Um, can control it quite well, and it's really quick to the shoulders. Really quick, as you can see, it's nice and snappy. Um, so yeah, four points for the AK-104 on the range. Right, I'm happy with the uh, AK-104 on the range. Not bad. Not great either. It's very jumping at full auto, but similar to Matic, it's pretty good at, at close range. Um, so it mastered a little bit of four points there uh, to add to the tally. Okay, that is us prepared. We're going to go into the raid and try and get uh, the OS stars against scabs. Um, weapon system has my laser on it. Let's see how well this weapon fares in the long range and the short range in an actual raid. Right, the AK-104 in the raid. Let's see how it gets on. Okay, first and foremost, we're going to find ourselves some scabs. And go from here. Okay. Quite nice, that. I find it's a really smooth weapon system, really quick. I think it's like probably one of the quickest so far. Snappy as hell. Um, so the scoring's quite low at the moment, if I'm honest with you. Um, as you can see down the bottom, it's not looking great in terms of sitting high on the leaderboard at all. Um, I need to double check. Um, but we'll see how this comes out. Oh, I do like how quick it is. Get some single shots in. In the close, comp close proximity. I think I actually prefer this over the 102. In all honesty. Got a larger caliber round as well, 7.62. I think maybe if you're going to go between the 102 and the 104 and choose which one close range. Personally, I think go for the high caliber, the 104, this one. It always depends on your mission, what you're aiming to do. Two bit more, guys. One of the army. Well, that is the first time we have been bounced by Scab whilst testing out the weapon system. Um, that was... I don't know if it was a stopping power or whatnot, but each round was going well above the target. We're set, we're set at 50 metres as well. Um, that is definitely going to deduct the rating a little bit, I think, there. That could be my shot. I should have maybe a test and adjusted, but I was walking slow to the left. Um, I made sure the aim went back on target before firing another round. Um... It was running about a 4x there as well, but the round was just hitting so high. That could be due to the movement, but I don't know. That's gonna, gonna definitely take away a few points there, I think, in my mind at the moment. Uh, let's give another keep going with it. Let's, let's see how well it performs still. Um, obviously, we are using the holographic sight, the EOTech magnifier, which isn't the most accurate, not the best. Um, but still, it should, be, should still be getting target at that range. Look at about, about 40 meters out there. Weapon was set to 50, and uh, the round was hitting really high. And um, yeah, that shouldn't have shouldn't been happening. Right, let's go back down the bunk again. Let's see if we can get ourselves rolling here again for more kills. Um, so we've got ourselves inside. It seems to be pretty efficient. That's a bit better in terms of accuracy there.
on the move. Let's go bounce these guys into building. Yeah, that's pump. Absolutely pump. It's definitely not too bad when it comes to terms. Which range? Medium range just sucks a little bit of ass. They're not really nice, I'm more honestly. Go on. Finally got that was mainly just damage, really. Look at that jump. Look at that jump here. Yes. Brutal. Oh. Suka. He's dead. Definitely a lot better than single fire. Definitely a lot better than that. Uh, the magnifier's not in place. Let's have a look, shall we? Right now, I'm thinking of five. Five, maybe, maybe a five, six. It's not too bad. Medium range and close range is really good, um, which is definitely giving us brownie points here, in all honesty. Um, but that long range, Jesus Christ, pump with this. So, obviously, the site will determine and make things a lot easier. Um, if let's say I had like a voodoo site or something like that, it would be a lot more accurate. So in terms of that, but obviously we're going with this, the standards. We've got loads of contacts out here. Okay, it's not too bad. You just need to be, if you're moving, it's on behind, to the left. So look at that, look, the jumpiness of that is just... Carnage. Like, trying to get rounds down with uh, this site is not fun. That medium range. The magazines we're on now. Got one again. Standard. Do another shot to the face. Fronting up with scabs. Seems to be a bit of an issue. Off his helmet. We're a 4x shot there. Yeah, I'm gonna. I highly recommend this weapon system as a close range weapon system without a shadow of a doubt, once again. Uh, a lot more better. But again, we are, like I said, we are using a magnifier. Load. Me out of ammunition. <laughs> Go stab this guy quick. There we go. <laughs> well, there you have it. AK 104. Let's give it a rating, shall we? Let's just stop my, my bleeding here, shall we? Um, it definitely is good. It's definitely reliable. I like the fact that it's got higher uh, round, a larger caliber, which allows you to have, you know, to engage targets at close range with more soft and power and penetration, which is good. 
um, short, so it can really swiftly use inside the building, which is really good as well. Um, I think if you put yourself a voodoo sight or something like this weapon system, it'd be a lot better uh, at that medium to long range. Short range, fantastic weapon system. I really like it short range. It is good. Um, but I think the score I'm going to give this weapon system, you're probably seeing stuff on the screen right now, I do apologise, um, is a... I'm going to give it a 6. Or maybe a 7. Always a low. I'm going to say 6. Gets the job done. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. I'm happy with that. 6. Gets the job done. Alright. Cool. Okay, I'm actually going to give this weapon system 7 points for the opera opinion. Putting this weapon at a score of 91 points total. So we're now sitting 4th place above the AK-103 and just below the AK-12. Um, which is quite surprised actually. I thought it was scored a little bit higher. Um, but still, once again, the stats weapon system could move around a little bit further down the line. Um, but that's not a bad rating to be fair. But I do feel as if if you put a different weapon system on this, the medium range would be a, bo a lot better. But to keep it all fair, the holographic sight, it doesn't do as well uh, as you can see that, that medium to long range um, in comparison to the weapon systems. But it's got some really good points to it. Um, but fourth place is a pretty good score. Um, it's not last, just to say that. Um, but yeah. Okay, next we're going to be looking at the AK-105.